You guys know what this represents? What? Tell us, sir. Maybe it's the calm before the storm. What's the storm? Could be the calm, the calm before the storm. What storm is the president? You'll find out. That we're doing everything we can each day to confront and ultimately defeat this horrible, invisible enemy. We're at war. In a true sense, we're at war. Three years ago, a group of generals came to me, and it was explained to me they were, gonna, they were ready to conduct a coup d'etat. They were ready to move Barack Obama from office with military force. And then a few weeks later, I got another call and said that they were reconsidering. You know why they were reconsidering? because they talked to Donald Trump. And Trump had agreed, Trump agreed that he would run. And they agreed that if he would run, they would conduct their coup d'etat as a legitimate process, rooting out the traitors within government. And that pact between the military and Donald Trump has held. QAnon is military intelligence. So QAnon is, is the alliance, it is the administration, and they are the good guys. I'm sorry if you don't like them, but now is a time where we really need to be looking at this with a pragmatic eye, with a sense of hope. If you take a look at the depth of this corruption, it's pervasive since George H.W. Bush. And I want to predict to you here today that when the tables turn, Donald Trump will be invoking military tribunals and even Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama are going to be facing treason charges. In conclusion of all this, the same conclusion in you know, the, the book I've just written in Killing the Deep State, it ends, in the end, Donald Trump wins. And never forget that in the end, God wins. Thank you. And they then selected uh, in 2016, the, probably the, what I think is going to be the greatest general and brilliant person that the world has ever known, Donald J. Trump. Trump said, the world is at war with a hidden enemy. If you think you're, he's talking about coronavirus, you're wrong. That's not what he's talking about. And he said, we will win. This is very important. Trump was just put in position by the military. They asked him to run to risk his family. He was given a two-week insider briefing where they showed him what was really going on. The last thing he wanted to do is be president of the United States. The hatred, the, the you know, he was set for life. He's a billionaire. He's a celebrity. He's got money. He's got places to live that are beautiful. Why the heck would he want to do this? Well, they told him, we don't have enough money to do this any other way. We need somebody who can finance his own campaign. We need somebody who we know we can trust. He was not a part of this satanic cult. People